When I first saw this product, I initially thought to myself, what the hell is this useless piece of crap, this clunky piece of metal that no one on earth is ever going to need or use? And then I remembered one random day back in the year 2003 when I was in Iraq deployed with my team as a military policeman. I had a guy on my team, he was my driver. His name was Selby. Now Selby was famous in my company because Selby had three nuts. Now when I say that Selby has three nuts, what I'm actually trying to say is that Selby had two nuts and then a third nut that was probably as big as your fist and that made the third nut. The reason Selby had a third nut because he had a very large hernia. When I found out about this, I did everything I could to encourage my driver to go get surgery, go get fixed, so that he could come back and be normal again. In my mind, I thought that perhaps for Selby, this was a way out. I knew that if I got him onto a bird, got him down to some other place where he was going to get surgery, he wouldn't be in Baghdad anymore, he wouldn't be in danger, and maybe this could have been his ticket home. So there we went. We loaded up into a bunch of Humvees, my team and some other teams. We went down to the Olympic Stadium, which at that point was being used as a medevac for troops in Baghdad. Stood out there on the uh, uh, helipad for a few hours, waiting for hel helicopters to come in. Uh, finally they came in, and we said our goodbyes to Selby. I watched them get on the bird. I watched the rotors spool up. And then the bigger bird began to take flight. That's the moment that I reached into the cargo pocket of my uniform pants. And what I was reaching for was a brand new can of Skull Straight that I had just opened that morning for the drive-in. When I reached into my pocket, I felt the can. But I didn't just feel the can, I felt the inside of the can. The reason I felt the inside of that can is because the lid had come off. I couldn't find the lid, so I reached further down into my pocket and what I felt was sand. Now the sand that I felt wasn't actually sand. But when you're in Baghdad and a can of chew comes open in your cargo pocket and it empties out into your cargo pocket, it quickly dries in the arid air and takes on the texture of sand. So I pulled out the empty can, I reached in with my hands and I started pulling out these dry pieces of sand by the handful. I had no other choice. I tried to put them back in the can. I tried to put a little bit of water in there to rehydrate the chew, but I was unable to do so. I did my best to clean out the cargo pocket shortly after I bummed a chew from somebody else. I remember when we got back to base, I took off my pants, and, or at least at some point in time, I changed those pants into another pair of pants. And at that point in Baghdad, we were hand washing our clothes. So I did my best to empty the contents of my sandy chew pocket before hand washing them, and then I washed the pants. Unfortunately, if anybody has ever had a can of chew open up in their cargo pocket, you realize that those tiny granules of sand that used to be chew are very small and very hard to get out of your pocket. And if you've ever rehydrated some chew that had turned been turned into sand, you realize that it turns into wet chew, and when that's in your pocket, it turns into a uh, giant chew stain on your pants. And when we were in Baghdad, I only had two pairs of pants from what I can remember. So one of my pairs of pants was normal, and the other pair of pants at the seam of my pocket for the rest of our deployment had that brown line on the bottom seam that showed those were the pants that I was wearing on the day that we took Selby to the medevac when my can of chew came open, turned into sand, and spilled out into my pocket. The best part about this whole story, or my favorite part about this story, is that Selby got down to whatever hospital he was going to. He spoke to a doctor. He showed the doctor his 
two nuts, and then his third nut, which was the size of a human fist. The doctor asked him, hey, that doesn't look right. You should get that fixed. And then he said, does it hurt? Does it bother you? And Selby's answer was, no, it doesn't bother me. I'd like to get back to my unit. So the doctor did what a good doctor would do. He cleared Selby and he sent him back to the unit. So I spent an entire day with my team and another team and God knows how many other people driving down the uh, mean streets of Baghdad, risking life and limb to get Selby on a helicopter so that he could go and get his nut fixed. And in the process of doing so, I lost an entire can of school straight and ruined a pair of uniform pants only to have Selby get to where he was going and turn around without having anything done. So thinking back on it, I think that maybe this product is useful and I think it's going to do some guys a lot of good.